people of the internet my name is master reloaded and welcome back to my youtube channel well i know it's been a minute since i've seen my face before Ciao. i know you'll miss me but anyways any who's i'm not here for that you will have known what has been going on in this youtube channel for a reason for you to not see my face i've been exfoliating my one of my many talents as writing and actually directing and getting producing quality content as you may know that my were first ever web series um online is currently on this very platform right here yeah, it currently has like 10 episodes it's about love it's about lust it's about power we stay hungry we devour put in the work put in the hours and show what's ours bitch that's late uh so it's currently uh playing okay it's currently on my channel if you if, if you have time don't be afraid to click on that thinginess of the thingy what's what it's called the playlist thing. It's called online for home episode one, so episode 10, please check it out. But for now, I'm not here about that. I'm here to give you another story time because I feel like I've been gone for too long. Now it's time to bring it back. So the story time is about how I almost <sighs> things that we go through on a daily basis they are not really connecting but i think this was more of like a spiritual attack because when i think about this thing of the thinkness of thinking about thinking it is not thinking the way i think it was supposed to be dotted because wow that shouldn't have happened that was very embarrassing like for me child mm -mm, it was a zero for me ma'am give me zero so um as a boy as a young boy as a young gent as a young fine ass nigga right here uh i don't <laughs> cha, cha, cha. i don't know i mean, i'm just feeling myself oh guys almost died so uh please allow me allow me allow me allow me to to, to actually feel myself today so um in 2021 early stages of 2021 i had issues with like my heart as the like the beating of my heart and like the beating of the beatingness it was not really beating anyways it was not really beating the right way it was not really beating the right way you see um the, the 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 pumps of the of the light of the veins of the blood of the pressure that go they go in 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 the veins yeah yeah they go in the veins they were not really going like the right direction and like it was beating from it had like pains like i had chest pains when i was beating, when it was beating so i went to check it out at the doctor and the doctor said ah, i need to check it out with like a therapist because uh, it's something which has to do with like the mental dungla of the obrigano of whatever um so i went th that's when i started therapy because the boy needs some therapy um so i went to his therapist and the madam was just like okay something is, is going on you're actually anxious about something and yeah you know, she thought it was this online learning type of situation that was starting to actually happen and i was just like child that's like the best thing that's ever happened to me at this point because wow the the, the grades have been creating and 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 yes you know how online learning was things were thinking and things were on the thing in this thingy um so it was really working out so she told me that i i may be suffering from like anxiety and stuff because i actually overthink a lot um i tend to stress about things a lot no matter how um minor they are i tend to overthink and stress about them a lot and then she was just like okay i'm gonna give you some antidepressants and please try and maintain your stress levels which i did very good for like the whole year which was very really great yeah i think not up until 2022 child me and actually school coming back on full force because we're like back on campus and ooh, child, child, child. it is not giving what i thought it was gonna give on the 
7th, what's the day today? On the 8th, no, highway nangani. On the 6th of May, um, around, um, it was a very normal day, like, I woke up, I didn't go to school on Friday, because no, not no. Oh, I woke up and I tried to contact Sarah. Because I wanted something from SARS. I needed like a text clearance pin for my for my SARS for my like business account and my like business profile SARS. Because I was actually applying for funding for a show that I wanted to produce and all the kind of like nonsensical stuff. And the person that was helping me with this show, with like the whole production of the show, um, me so rest in peace. He recently passed away. Um, one of my greatest friends. So. Um, he was really dealing with like the paperwork and everything. So now it's me here and doing things on my own. And I didn't realize that we didn't actually do text clearance. And now me doing text clearance on a Friday for a show that is due on Tuesday, on the 9th of May. Um, it was really stressful when they told me that I had to wait for 21 days. Yeah, 21 days. They told me I had to wait for 21 days for me to get my click screen spin. That really fucked me up. I don't remember why I like because it just felt like, okay, my dreams are just crumbling at this point. Um, they were really gearing to the point where I want... I want them to go. They're not really getting where I want them to go. So, yeah, but then I was just like, okay, cool. Okay, cool. My show, on the other hand, that's like my bag, capital, duh. That's not really gearing where I wanted to go. And then school, on the other hand, is not really schooling. And then Mujolo, obviously. Oh. Mujolo is stressful for like the past two weeks. It has been. If you, if, you, if you check out my TikTok lives, you always know the idea. We are always going in that department. It's mko, 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 mko. Always. So, I oh, was 10. How? <laughs> and now uh, I can feel my heart. I got it slowing down. I got it like. I got it it's slowing down. <sighs> what do I, okay. Now my chest. I got it. It's, 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 it's drying up. Yeah, correct, correct. Drying up, correct. Like, now I couldn't breathe. And then, you know, when, when you try to breathe in this situation, it's very hard because, like, I'm inhaling so much uh, oxygen that when you exhale it, it becomes difficult because now I'm using my mouth to breathe. My nose is totally blocked at that point. I don't know why. And now that. <laughs> I don't think about a panic attack, it causes more stress than how like it causes more stress because you can't breathe and then like the fact that you can't breathe stresses you out. So you stress more so you can't really and people say, Calm down, calm down, guys, I can't breathe. How can I calm down when I can't breathe? How is that even possible? And then ooh, I decided to call my aunt and just like bruh, it, it's going down. I am going down. And she's like, just come downstairs, we will we'll go to the hospital. When I get downstairs, I'm already like, <laughs> okay, God, I'm giving birth. Yeah, I'm talking, it was a whole movie downstairs. Yo, I'm so, I think I'm so glad it was around night time because nobody was there. It was just me and the security guard giving them a show. It was, no, you would swear I was in labor. Because you would swear I was in labor. But you would have a hug. But I'm gonna go. And she gets here. We have to the hospital. Can we get there? The worst thing the doctor said, they said, breathe. And I'm just like, bruh, can't be, what am I doing? Am I not breathing? I'm like, no, calm down. How can I calm down when I can't breathe? Make that make sense too. How can I calm down when I can't breathe? It's like, okay. Took an injection, like I did not pass out. I, just, I don't know, my body just became numb, and then uh, suddenly everything just went down. You know. I went, I got a drip, and after for like an hour or so, 
he came back and he told me that I have been suffering from like a lot of stress that's really not resolved. That was not really something new because I saw this mile away. I think I saw this two weeks before. It's like, okay, this one's going to end with me not having another clinic attack because, like, I saw the level of stress that I had. It was, not really, it was not really giving what I was supposed to give at that point because it was not supposed to give that amount of stress that it gave. So, um, it was really odd. I was just like, okay, for that. Oh, and he also told me something. He told me that I'm dehydrated and I need to start drinking like a lot of water. Hence, that's why I bought this baby. Okay, I'm not advertising it. But anyways, it's so cute. I, I kind of like it. So, I actually buying three of these today. Just the boy is making progress. So, it's just a water bottle, by the way. Um, so, uh, I understood that because I never really resort to water in any case, risk case scenario. I'm going to drink or drink or alki. So, I kind of understood that instead I'm going to stop stressing and I was really stop putting pressure on myself because I understand like me, 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 myself and I um, I put a lot of pressure on myself to actually do better and to actually do a lot of things guys I multitask with my life at this point I I think I was doing before my contract ended with the cassette and TV show I think I was doing like four five things five things school included five things and like five things that I had to do on a normal daily basis and every each of them required time and so it required time and each of them was like more stressful than the other so you could just imagine juggling all of those things every day and you need to give it your full potential so after this fiasco that happened I've decided that there are certain things that I'm gonna let go so I'm gonna give YouTube because YouTube is my life Certain things I'm just gonna let go of because it's not really giving. Wish I could say school, but I can't because ciao. So I'm just gonna focus on school at this point. That was a really short, quick, straight to the point story time that I had for you guys. I'm like, oh, I almost died, kind of. Not really, but kind of. So yeah, I really hope y'all really watch yourselves. Stay home, stay safe. I love go out, go out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's try to avoid stress and actually dealing with like a whole other things like um, like just taking the medulla of the medusa has way too many things to actually focus on and it's very problematic as it is so I wouldn't actually want y'all to be finding yourselves in situations where that's fucking y'all up give this video a thumbs up with Kevin J and if you have any other recommendations go look them down in the comment section and comment go and tell me what you want more on the show Anyways, with all that said, thank you and please come again.